Hey guys, so this is the 25 what old wives tales gender test video that I've been promising. Um, yeah, this beginning part, I've already done this video and this beginning part for some reason was corrupted when I uploaded the files. So I'm having to do it again and on a different day. So that's why I look different and I'm wearing something different and stuff like that. Um, so I apologise, I'm sorry that it, it might not be completely consistent. I have like got down what um, I missed from the first part of it. Um, so yeah, obviously part way through I will change <laughs> um, and it will be from the other day. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, but <laughs> there's nothing else I could really do to save the file. So um, yeah, so these 25 gender tests I have picked out from a list of different ones. Um, some of them obviously taking longer than others to get the information for, so yeah. Um, and I'll try and explain each of them as I go along. I'll try and keep a scoreboard of a boy and girl up here if I can. Um, so the first one is the Chinese gender test, which a lot of people know about. Um, from what I understand, it uses your lunar age, which mine is 23, um, even though I'm actually 21. <laughs> um, yeah, you uses your lunar age and the month you conceived, I think? Something like that, I'm not too sure, or expected due date, I'm not sure, something like that. Um, there's, I ended up using a website, um, I think it was like Baby Centre, um, and they have a calculation thing on there just for fun. Um, obviously, it's not accurate. This, these all, all of these tests are just for fun. Like none of them are proven to exactly tell you what your baby is. Otherwise, people use them all the time. But it's just yeah, for a little bit of fun to guess. Um, yeah, so I use this test, which I'll put a link in the description below. And for me, it said boy. So that is one point for a boy. Um, the second. Um, old wives tale is the Mayan calendar one. <laughs> this is a really weird one. I'd never heard of it until recently. Um, it uses your age at conception, which is 21, and your year of conception, which is 2013. If they're both odd, it's supposed to be a girl. If they're both even, it's supposed to be a boy. And um, if they're different, um, this supposed to be a boy, I think, as well. Um, but yeah, for me, they're both odd, so they go. The next one's heartbeat, um, which I finally found out <laughs> what um, the baby's heartbeat is. And it's it was 148 when I went to the um, midwife. So that is a girl, because if it's above 140, it's a girl, and if it's below, it's a boy. So that's another point for a girl. Two points for a girl and one for a boy so far. Um, the next is the baking soda tinder test, which you guys know I've already done. Um, and for that result, it came up a boy. So two boys and two girls. Points. <laughs> um, the next one is the red cabbage tinder test, which I've also put up a video for, which I'll put a link for. Um, um, and for me, it came up a girl. So that's three points to a girl and two points for a boy. Um, the next is a ring on the string test, which me and Liam did, so I'll put in a clip for you. Okay, so I'm going to do the ring and string gender test. Um, for this one, I have to hold it up above my belly, and if it goes in circles, it's a girl, and if it goes in a straight line, or like that way, or that way, <laughs> it's a boy. So we shall see what it does. That's a circle, isn't it? That's more circles. Yeah, that's definitely more circles. Yeah, so for that one, it came up a girl. Because <laughs> it went in circles. So, yeah, another point for a girl. The next one is whether you're carrying high or carrying low on your belly. Um, at the moment, my baby's definitely low. My belly is definitely low. Um, so, for that one, it would be a boy. Um, if you're carrying high, it's supposed to be a girl, and if you're carrying low, it's supposed to be a boy. And then 
Next one is dry hands. If your hands have, the theory behind this, if your hands have stayed dry, have gotten dry during pregnancy, or um, your hands are the same, or not dry, I don't know, <laughs> um, then it's supposed to be a girl. And for me, they haven't really changed, they're not really dry, so I'd say that's a girl. Next one is cravings. This could be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to go with what I've been craving most. Now obviously, um, well, lots of people will know about this one, um, it's if you're craving salty, sour, savoury stuff, it's supposed to be a boy, and if you're craving sweets, um, and like, sweet stuff, um, even fruit, it's not just like sweets and sugar, but even fruit, um, it's supposed to be a girl. I have been craving a bit of both, but mainly, and for longer, a boy. So I'm going, um, craving a boy, <laughs> craving savoury. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mainly go for, because I've been mainly craving savoury, I'm gonna go for a boy. This is depending on what side you sleep on. So, um, so if you sleep on your left side, it's supposed to be a boy, and if you sleep on your right side, it's supposed to be a girl. Um, now, since I've been pregnant, I think I've been sleeping on my left side more, which is weird because I used to sleep on my right side, and it was sort of a obviously more noticeable difference because though I sleep on both, really, um, I tend to stay on my left more now. I don't know, but yeah, so boy for that one. Um, morning sickness. Um, now this theory is different to different people. Um, the one that I read up on said if you felt nauseous or were sick, and or were sick even, through um, your sort of first trimester, quite a bit, um, and it just said first trimester, um, that it's a girl, and if it's not a lot, then it's a boy. Now, I wasn't really sick, like I threw up once, but I was nauseous every single day for ages, even in the first beginning of my second trimester. So for that, I'm gonna say it's quite a lot, and I'm gonna go girl. Now I know it's contradictory to a lot of other people, I know some people have it so more severe than I had it, definitely. But that's just what I'm going to go with, so from what that theory said. So yeah, I'd say girl for that one. Um, headaches, whether you get headaches or whether you don't get headaches, basically, um, as a symptom. I've been getting headaches, as <laughs> some of you will probably know, um, so that for that one it's a boy, because if you get headaches it's a boy, if no headaches it's a girl. Um, the next one is um, the hiding the fork and spoon under the cushions. Now I filmed this earlier with Liam, he helped me, <laughs> um, and we did it out of three, so here you go. So I'm going to be doing the fork and spoon old wives tale gender test <laughs> um and i've got liam with me and he's gonna put these this fork or spoon under um these pillows um i'm gonna go out the room he's gonna record it and we're gonna do it three times to do best out of three and see which one i sit on or which ones i sit on so yeah if it's a fork that i sit on it's a boy if it's a spoon it's a girl Right, let's put this one under here, put this one under here, coming in Beanie. Boy, <laughs> the first one's boy. <laughs> See if she does it again. Coming in, babe.
feel like I should just sit on one, but you know. Well, but it's yeah. what you should do. Girl. <laughs> oh, okay. The last one's decided. That's <laughs> it's a bit different. Coming in, babe. So according to that one, it's a girl! <laughs> yeah, the results out, best out of three, were girl for that one because I sat on the spoon twice and the fork once. So that would be girl because spoon is girl and fork is boy. Um, the next one is supposed to be history of parents. Now I was a bit confused about this one because, okay I'll try and explain it as best I can. You're supposed to go through my history of my parents and Liam's parents as to what they had first. Um, obviously if it's your second or third child you go by their second or third child roughly um, if they had more than one child. Um, obviously because this is my first child we go with them. Now this is where it's sort of split down the middle so I'm still going to include this one but I'm going to give a point to both because my parents, both my mum and my dad, both had a girl first. Um, Liam's mum had Liam first, um, so boy, but Liam's dad um, had a boy previously to Liam, um, he had a boy and a girl previously to Liam I believe, something like that, I don't know, it's confusing, I did talk to Liam and Liam said that his first was a boy but it wasn't him, um, so with that one, his is both boys and ours, is, mine's both girls, and you're supposed to just, it just says parents, kids, so it's one each. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a point to each um, and carry on basically. So I thought I'd still include it because I thought other people might be interested in it. Um, but yeah. The next one is parents' intuition. Now, obviously, this means that it's going to add up to more because it will be putting my intuition, what I think it is, and Liam's, um, and adding two points to the boys, because um, I think it's a boy and so it's Liam. In the beginning, Liam thought it was a girl um, for the first couple of weeks, and then he started to think it was a boy. I think it's because I sort of convinced him it was a boy. Um, and I asked him earlier, just to clarify, I was like, do you, what do you think of it now? Do you think it's a boy or a girl now? And he was like, boy, so I'm going with that. Um, so yeah, that's two points for a boy, because there's two of us, and we both have, like, because we could have had different in opinions, and I was still would have given, like, if he had said girl, I would have given one to a girl and one to a boy, so I'm just going to give two to a boy, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, the next one is hair growth. Um, whether it's been quicker since you've been pregnant or whether it's stayed the same or stopped because I know for some people it's like slows down or stopped basically. Um, this is actually tricky because originally my hair started growing radically like through the first trimester it grew a lot now it seems to slow down a little bit but it's still growing so it hasn't stopped and it's not exactly the same as it was before I was pregnant so I'm going to say that it was quicker and I'm going to go with a boy because um, it was so far it's majorly been a bit like quicker and it was frustrating to start with because I was literally having to shave my legs more <laughs> um, I'm not used to that, normally my hair doesn't actually grow that quickly so yeah 
So I'm going to go with the boy with that one. Um, the next one is called Show of Hands. Now this one I didn't manage to film because it sort of was on a spur of the moment I read about it and sort of just did it. Um, and Liam was with me, so he will clarify if need be. Um, but yeah, basically, you're supposed to. Someone's not supposed to ask you, like, to show your hands. Um, if you show them with the palms down, it's a boy, and if you show them palms up, it's a girl. Now, I was reading up about this, and I did it <laughs> as I was reading it, and I showed the palms up before I'd read what it was, um, and I just went like that. That's just what I do when <laughs> when someone shows me, like, says, show show me your hands. I go palm up. So that would be a girl for that one. Next one is breast test. Um, they say that if your left boob is bigger, it's a girl. And if your right boob is bigger, it's a boy. Now, my boobs have been growing loads. Um, they've gone up two cup sizes now since the beginning of the pregnancy. And it's always been the left one that's growing no this one my right <laughs> I was like left no <laughs> my right one has always grown quicker so um, and it always has previously anyway um, before I was pregnant as well so yeah my right which is a boy for that one next one is whether your feet have gotten colder or warmer slash stayed the same um, so if they've got, since before pregnancy, if they've got colder, it's supposed to be a boy. And if they've stayed the same or got warmer, it's supposed to be a girl. I'd say they've stayed the same slash uh, warmer, I think. I think they've been a little bit warmer. And that just might be the temperature that it is at the moment, because it's been quite warm, to be fair, over here for most of the time. Um, but yeah, so for that one, it's a girl. Um, baby names is the next one. This one is whether you've already thought of baby names and if you have a boy's name or a girl's name that you've already settled on but the other one you haven't then it's whatever you've sort of settled on. So basically me and Liam already know what we're going to probably call our boy if we have one. Um, but we're still not completely decided on the girls. We have a few ideas of what we like would like to call a girl, if we have a girl, but it's not set in stone as it is with a boy. So for that one, for that theory, it'd be a boy. Um, next one <laughs> is the dad's weight gain. If the dad gains weight with you, it's supposed to be a girl, and if the dad doesn't gain weight, with you or doesn't gain weight during your pregnancy even um, so far um, it's supposed to be a boy now to start with I didn't think that Liam when I first wrote this down a while ago um, Liam wasn't gaining weight with me um, or gaining weight shall I say <laughs> I don't know if he's appreciate will appreciate me saying I have asked for permission obviously I had to ask him what what he weighs um, but yeah he has gained since um, when I started because when I started weighing myself he started weighing himself um, just because <laughs> um, not because of this that would mean he's a girl because if he gains weight it's a girl if he stays the same it's a boy so according to that it's a girl <laughs> um, this one's called numbers and it basically tells you to combine your age at conception which is minus 21 with the month you conceived, which was June, so it's the sixth, sixth month, um, add them together, and if it's odd, it's a girl, and if it's even, it's a boy. Now obviously, 27 plus 6 is, I mean, 21 plus, 21 plus 6 is 27, so that's odd, so according to that, it's a girl. Um, And then the next one is about your pee. <laughs> They're always about your pee. Um, if your urine urine is bright yellow, it's a boy. And if it's a dull, clear colour, it's a girl. Majority of the time, to be honest, it really depends on how much you've had to drink. Um, 
Now, I heard that it's supposed to go by your first morning urine, and if I'm going by that, then it's bright yellow, really. Because <laughs> as the day goes on, it gets lighter, so I don't know. I'm going to go with bright yellow. So, for that one, it's a boy. Next one is um, better skin. So basically, the idea is that a girl steals away your beauty <laughs> in pregnancy. So if you um, get more spots and breakouts and acne and whatnot um, through your pregnancy, um, it's supposed to be a girl, and if you don't, it's a boy. Um, so for me, I have it hasn't really changed. I've always had sort of oily skin. Um, I've always had sort of breakouts here and there, but um, it hasn't changed like since before I was pregnant and to now. There's not, I haven't had a major breakout, I don't think, um, and I'd say that's pretty much stayed the same. So for that one, I'd say it's a boy. The last one I'm going, uh, theory that I was going to do, the skull theory. Now, this one obviously means that you look at your scan picture, and either you or a number of other people have to make guesses as to whether it looks like a boy's or girl girl skull. Now the, the theory behind the girl skull is obviously there's, you can look it up online, this is what I did, um, and they give you sort of like an outline of a guy skull and the difference between a guy, guys and girls, and um, men tend to have more forwards, more protruding eyebrow bone, um, a more flat forehead, um, a more square jaw, um, and slightly more sort of obviously rigid, as it were, head. Um, a girl's more rounded, more soft, um, rounded head. That's the idea, from what I understand. Now, I did, I've posted two um, things on my app, like pictures of my sc scan pictures, asking about these series, what other people's guesses were ages ago. Now, the first one, it was even. Like, I literally got loads of, loads of guest girls um, and those are guest boy. So I did another one today, and I haven't really got. I got a few replies, but again, I don't really know the result properly. I personally, going by the picture, it's kind of odd. Going by the top part of the head, I would say it looks like a girl because it hasn't got like a protruding eyebrow bone. Um, it doesn't look too square. It looks quite rounded. The bottom bit, one person said, did comment today saying that it's more square. And I can understand what you mean, but you, it's a side profile, so you can't really tell. Um, and I think, I don't know whether just to make a guess or what, but if I'm just gonna go with what most people have said, like I've asked my mum and a few other people as well with what they thought the um, skull looked like, and I obviously explained the theory, and the majority of them said girl as well. So I think if I'm going to go for that, if I'm going to add it in, I think it would be a girl. Um, I'm sorry <laughs> to any of those that made the guesses to boy and would say that it's boy. I think just by the skull, it looks more girly, to be honest. So if it's a boy, it's just got a girly skull to me. <laughs> um, there is also the nub theory, which is like the other end. Um, but you honestly cannot see or cannot tell, in my opinion, what it is um, by that theory from my pictures, from my scan pictures. Other people might disagree, they might be able to guess, but I can, I didn't understand it, like from what I looked up about it, I can guess, I couldn't make a decision. So I thought I'd just not add it in, but I thought I'd let you guys know if you're interested, if you're pregnant or whatever, and you wanna do those theories, so yeah. So, from what I've worked out, <laughs> Um, from all those results, um, I believe there's 14 for boy and 13 for girl, I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I've worked out, so it's very close, but overall a boy, which is what I think it is.